favorite music singer you listen okay, to? Okay, my favorite um, my favorite right now. Oh, I just saw Kitty. Okay. Yes, like yes. I, I, I'm going to do the dance. <laughs> Should I do it? <laughs> ben, no. I won't sing. I won't sing because you'll kick me out oh, of no, here. No, no, no. Yeah, hey, I, I he's won't sing. Yeah. No, I sing it. He's no, accommodating. No, no, if you don't no. get it well, no. Yeah, no, I, I like will it. not do this to you people. <laughs> um, but, you know, and I grew up listening to the oldies, Daddy Lumba. <laughs> wow. Yes, like really? dancing at parties in my in the basement of our house, like Kojo Antwi, all these people that I remember and you know, I still can pop on and listen now. And then even like, what was the guy like, uh, last time I was here, we were, I was at the National Arts Center, we'd okay. go to concerts there. So okay. it's like, sure. it's great. And you know, the nice thing now is music is so much more universal. When I used to come, you'd have to come back and carry a CD or a tape, you, but now it's on Apple Music. And so our artists are everywhere. You can hear this music in Atlanta. You're having more African music from the diaspora that is becoming mainstream. Mm -hmm. And like, whether it's Ghanaians or Nigerian music, like it's big, it's yeah, big. Like, really. It's, really, it's really cool that it, we're able to share that and people can enjoy our music. They understand it. They're like, oh, this high life now, I know. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's good. Amongst your friends, amongst the people you fraternize with, amongst the, I mean, your, industry, your industry mates, is Ghanaian music a big deal? Ah, uh, there's a couple hits. Okay. Maybe not, you know, I will say, um, there's a couple hits, like, um, trying to think of who has crossed over re from, Ghana. from Ghana. You know, uh, some more Nigerian, I think they're getting a bit bigger, but there's been a couple hits that you'll hear on the radio and you're like, hey, this is, so I, and I'm, I'm trying to share it more. Like even on my Instagram, I had, um, you know, like I was playing No Dulling, Happy Day for these folks and people love it. They just don't know how to find it. And so this is the thing, once we share it ourselves amongst it and people say, what was that song you played? Then it sort of starts to trickle down. So I think this is kind of the nice part of it. If we share it more, people get, they get connected to it. Mm. So you, you, then it means that the musicians should be able to do a bit more stuff yes. with their game. Yes, yes, mm. yes, yes. But I think it's up to us too, okay. because we love it, we share it, we, we get it more naturally from our friends and this, and then you have to take it out to broader mainstream. Because okay. otherwise, it's, it shouldn't only be up to the musicians, right. right? Trying to push their things. We have to share it, like we have to share our culture, because people actually are excited to hear it, and they just need to be exposed to it.